the next command is to uh, replicate this girder by array command by array command so let's uh, uh, press let's select this structure uh, change its isc role let's find what is the isc role isc role i call it as uh, If I have uh, so I'll call it as B better to call it as B I see role is now B I will refresh that and uh, uh, now I will rename it as well I will call it girl and uh, I'll select this and I'll press the array button create rectangular or polar or create a polar or a rectangular array press this button array is created so I'll rename this array as girdles because it is a set of girdles so uh, in this I need to change some number number of x is 6 y and z are 1 so i'll change that number in x is 6 in the y it is 1 in the z it is 1 now i'll change uh, the x uh, interval by using expression editor and i'll put formula the formula is 4 meter minus 180 millimeter uh, total space occupied is uh, 180 millimeter and whole divided by 5 so what does this mean 4 meter is the length of wall length of this wall minus 180 180 is the horizontal distance which is occupied so this distance is minus so this 4 minus 180 it will give the leftover space this leftover space is divided into 5 pieces so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is divided into 5 center to center spaces. So this is done by using expression. Uh, so let, let's write this expression. Uh, so select this girder and uh, in the interval x, in the interval x, select the x, select these fx to write expression, write down. The formula, the formula is 4 meter minus 180 millimeter divided by 5 and press OK and, uh, and it is not updated so press F5 and you see in the drawing that uh, in the model that uh, we have uh, 5 girder, uh, we have total number of uh, 6 girders and uh, if you remember we actually gave 6 girders in the beginning. So if you see and if you see x number x so number x was 6 so it's perfectly fine perfectly okay now let's arrange it zoom the next step is to draw the slab how to draw the slab so to draw the slab I need uh, to change my working area to uh, to the top of uh, uh, girder so how to change the working area at the moment the working area is top but it is at uh, bottom of the wall you can see this grid line representing bottom of wall whatever i draw it will be drawn on uh, top view at uh, bottom over the grid line i want to shift this grid line to the top of uh, these girders to change that to change this uh, working area so select one of the the girder face of top face of the girder I have selected and then uh, I'll press this button and uh, by pressing this button uh, this working current working plane button the 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 grid line is shifted to top and you can see you can see that you can see that it is shifted to top and you can see that in rotation that it is shifted to top
the next step is to perform uh, to make uh, the slab uh, to make the slab uh, i'll use rectangle uh, so press this uh, create two point rectangle and press uh, end point change this uh, snap of burger and uh, Use this option working plane on this working plane. So whatever I draw, it will be drawn on the working plane. So the extreme edge point is selected, and uh, I'll I'll use uh, another point. It is also selected. So a rectangle is drawn you can see by the white edge uh, I'll convert this rectangle into slab to convert that into slab select this uh, drawn rectangle either from model view or from here by edge or by face select it after selecting this press the create structure button so it is converted into uh, slab I'll change its thickness so select the newly created structure change its height to uh, i'll change its height to 200 millimeter and uh, i'll change its uh, isc roll as well i'll change its uh, isc roll to um, To slab, better to change it to slab. And there is blue uh, small mark, which means that refresh is required. So I'll press F5 button. So by this, uh, uh, up to now, up till now, we have uh, created a house. Uh, in FreeCAD using Arch module, the, these uh, by the way these tools are same in BIM as well in BIM module as well. So uh, the next option will be to create uh, to create a drawing sheet or dimension. I think uh, the next step is uh, to create dimension lines. Let's uh, create a few dimensions. Or at uh, at this point, we can check uh, our our drawing, our drawing in uh, in ISC. So before that, I need to change uh, the name of slab. I'll press F2 and I'll rename it to slab. And uh, I want to check my model in ISC. So. Uh, for that, I want to create this ISC format. For that, I'll uh, I'll create uh, uh, flow, and then I'll create building. So I'll create all of my structures, and then press flow. So they will my whole uh, set of structures will be added to a flow, and then I'll select flow, and I'll add it to build. Why I'm doing this? I'm doing this because uh, IFC uh, format requires that all objects of a building are inside building objects. So that's why we'll do this. So let's uh, let's wait. Select uh, all our structures and then uh, press uh, floor. It will create floor. We can see. Uh, let's change its name to ground floor ground floor and I will select my floor and I will press uh, it on building uh, press the building button so now I have a building so there is a building which has a ground floor and I will change its name to beam house 
so I have beam house inside beam house I have ground floor and inside ground floor I have uh, walls now it is re uh, ready for export in uh, version uh, uh, 1.8 uh, the In version 1.8, uh, there is no requirement of uh, adding uh, Python module for IFC shell. It is already added. Uh, I'm using portable version, so it is already added in the portable version. So what I need to do is, uh, if it is not added, so for that you will need uh, IFC open shell. You can download it and then you it, uh, play, place that in proper folder. Uh, and uh, after that you can export and after exporting this to IFC you can view that in a viewer uh, that viewer is called IFC plus plus dot com so on website on website you can you can open uh, IFC query dot com or IFC plus plus dot com I see now it is uh, changed to ifcquery.com and from that you can download uh, an explorer simple viewer example qt so I have downloaded that I have extracted it simple viewer example qt I have extracted that I will open this it is now opened the next step is uh, to export my object so uh, what I do I will uh, select the top object the top object is building and then I'll export it to IFC so let's do it select the top object and then go to file export in the export change its type to IFC industry foundation classes and give it name bin house bin house press save button now in the python console it says uh, uh, it, it has executed it imported the export module then it has executed export command and there is no error option in the report so this means that export is successful so let's open this in the viewer so choose file in choose file select the bin house ifc open it and you can see a very beautiful house in uh, IFC uh, file in IFC format in this uh, file uh, when you see so you can have uh, the the site is added by the free cad itself we have BIM house inside BIM house we have ground floor inside ground floor we have walls we have door window footing girder and slab all of them are represented by IFC objects so uh, it's perfect you may face uh, one issue in export that uh, the wall may be separated to resolve uh, this issue if the walls are mm, disjoint and to resolve this issue you should go to edit preference edit preference and in the preference go to import export in import exports go to IFC in the IFC in the export option select force export as B rep using this option uh, it will merge the walls together so I have used this option use force export B as B rep 